I mean, it's really just like, I'm blessed to even be able to do any of this stuff. So I don't ever get mad if I can't take an opportunity because I didn't miss a whole lot of opportunities, you know, honestly. But it's a lot of stuff I wouldn't have been able to do, period. So even be where I'm at right now. And I made a lot of progress, so I ain't mad. It's, it's like, it's frustrating sometimes when it, I could have been more, bigger, faster, I guess, or I could have had more money or whatever, but everything happened for a reason. I ain't really pressed. It's like, if it's meant to happen, I, I'd be able to do it. It's Young Bands, and we're here with, with Lyrical Lemonade right now. Ooh, we chill. <laughs> yeah, I know what it is. It just made me work more smarter. Like, I got more um, responsibility, I guess. Like, it's my, I got a responsibility. Like, so I can't be out here making dumb decisions. Like, just off of like, what I want to do. Like, okay, it's what I want to do, you know? Because if I get in trouble, if something bad happens to me, then it affect him and then my, my family. So I just got to be smarter. I made me move smarter. <laughs> Let me readjust him. He said he ain't doing no interview. In in the lane that I was coming up in is different. It's like different type of rappers in Atlanta. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you got like it's rappers that's older than me, like who been like, who actually help each other, who grew up together and they just help each other. And then it's like rappers I grew up with who got on, but they wanted to block everybody. Like, people want to block, you know, like people feel like, oh, I got the spotlight, so they want to keep it to themselves. They don't really want to share no, you know? So that's really what it is. But coming up in that, in that lane, I guess it's just, it's cool because I know like when this whole new wave of music started, like I seen it from like the day one, like the first person, you know, the first people, one of the first people to ever like, even start making music that type of way and then putting it out and it just blew up. But um, I don't be trying to take credit for it and like that. It's just, I just do me. I broke off from all them other people and just did my own thing and it working. I don't be trying. So how that, how that all came about, what it was, it was my first show. Like this, like, um, how you were saying how like Atlanta, like the culture and how it started, it was like my first show ever had a show with 21 Savage in um, Miami, Fort Lauderdale. This before 21 was even like big at all. He was like, it was like, I, 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 it was probably like 30 people at that show. Me, 21X, Ski, um, and basically we, we all there. I pulled up, my one of my bros, he got uh, locked up. He was in two cars driving to the show. And one of the cars had got pulled over. Um, they said that, or some shit, you know what I'm saying? So, my, my bro was in the car, he had all my stuff, like all my money in the car, he had everything. So we pulled up, we didn't have, we, we made it to the show, we had our plane tickets, but we didn't have like nothing. You know what I'm saying, to get a hotel no more. You know, it's transportation. So before I got there, X really was already like showing love, like bro, when you, when you get here, bro, Link, da -da -da, your music hard as fuck. Da -da -da. So I'm like, bet. We got there, he, um, he got on stage when I got on stage. He was like, everybody turn the fuck up for bands, da da da. -da. I stopped playing. He really ran like that little Florida scene. So the Florida scene was just on lock on his end. And then after the show, he just took care of us for real. Like he was like, bro, uh, um, I got something for y'all to stay, you know, until y'all get y'all uh, tickets back home. And then he got us somewhere to stay. So we went to my bro Zion house, his bro. Members only like one of them dudes house. He spent over there, fun, we was chilling. Um, now the first night I went to a hotel with X, so me, X, and Ski, we all spent the night in this hotel. And then the next day we went to the dining house. And then we was there for like four or five days. And then out of the days, we just went to the studio. Went to the studio and stuff like that. Um, me, X, and Ski, we recorded. I live when they run. In somebody's room, it was hot as hell. So it was lit though, it was lit. He was screaming in the closet, the closet was shaking. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> It was lit though. I mean, it's really just like, I'm blessed to even be able to do any of this stuff. So I don't ever get mad 
if I can't take an opportunity, because I done missed a whole lot of opportunities, you know, honestly, but it's a lot of stuff I wouldn't have been able to do, period. So even be where I'm at right now, and I made a lot of progress, so I ain't mad. It's, it's like, it's frustrating sometimes when it, I could have been more, bigger, faster, I guess, or I could have had more money or whatever, but everything happened for a reason. I ain't really pressed. It's like, if it's meant to happen, I, I'd be able to do it. It made me look at everything like different. Cause like before, um, coming up in the Atlanta scene, all the people blowing up, you know, everybody was blowing up quick. Like a couple of people, not everybody, a couple of us. But everybody was in the same lane, the same sound. Like not the same sound, but everybody got their little differences. But everybody was hating this, hating this stuff. So it's like, before I was kind of like, I grew up with you, we bros, like we cool. Why you hating niggas acting funny, moving shady? So it was like, I be too, like, everybody just tweaking on everybody. It was beef, you know what I'm saying? Everybody like tripping, burning bridges, like relationships messed up. When I got on house service, I looked, I looked at it like different. You know, I, I understood like this, like, it's not personal, it's just music. You know what I'm saying? Relationships, you can't be burning bridges with people for like petty stuff. You know, I, don't even, I ain't even care no more. I was like, fuck them. Do my own thing, and I just found my own recipe. It made it work, so it made me move a lot smarter. It happened through Young Scooter, really. Young Scooter, basically. Um, I made a song in New York, I'm a 16 year old. I feel like Young Scooter, the song, we put a snippet out, and all the fans was tagging Young Scooter on it. So then they tagged Young Scooter, Young Scooter just followed me. Boom, he followed me. And after he followed me, uh, he DM'd me, and then, I told him to send me his number. But we knew mutual people. So like, I don't even think, he, he DM'd me, but I didn't ask him to DM me his number, actually. He DM'd me, he just DM'd me like a little flex emoji and a honey sign or something like that. And then I, um, I knew somebody he knew. And I was like, oh, Scooter fucking with Band of the Day. I was talking about other bro. And they just gave me Scooter number. They're like, just call, bro. So I called him. I was like, oh, what's going on? And we was talking. And then he said, I'm gonna pull up on you. He never pull up. And then one day, I was chilling, he just FaceTimed me with Future. And he was like, bro, da, da, da. Future trying to do some shit with you. We were just talking. Yeah, we were just talking and shit. Um, he was just saying, you know what I'm saying, da, da, da. You know, trying to fuck with me, he fuck with the music, everything going on. I like, for sure. Time just went on, time just went on. I don't even remember that shit just happened. Like, now we, we are where we are right now with it. What happened in between? I'm trying to think. I pulled up on him, we pulled up, pulled up on him. Yeah, we went to the studio with them. Yeah, we went to the studio, we linked. We talked about a lot of shit. He gave me a lot of, uh, a lot of wisdom about like how this next stage is in my career gonna be. And it was all like, right. Stuff I didn't even like think about, you know? You can't talk about all that stuff before. Musically, I had a lot of phases like in my life of like what I listened to. So at one point I was listening to just like Chance the Rapper. At one point I was just listening to Tyler Creator. At one point I was just listening to Young Scooter. Like it was like when I was younger I listened to more like, you know, Tyler Creator and stuff. And then I got like 15, 16, and I was like doing more stuff like, you know what I'm saying? I got listening to Scooter and Future and stuff like that. But um, I listened to a lot of rappers. You know, inf my biggest influences in the way I rap, I would probably say Scooter. I just took it to a whole nother level, you know? Cause like, I like the way his punchlines is and stuff like that. Mm. Atlanta rappers, yeah, probably just Scooter, like, the most, one of the biggest influences. I like this movie called How to Train a Dragon. <laughs> that movie five. There's a lot of movies though. That's my favorite movie that I know off the top. I don't know why I like them, I just like that movie. Huh? I don't know, bro. It just like, it depends. It depends on like, when I'm, Twilight is a good movie. It's a good series of movies, but How to Train Dragon better. Number three finna come out. I wasn't dropping no music because I'm picky about the way I put out music and like what I put out. So I was like, I'm not putting out no music. I'm just like thinking, I don't, what I want to do? I ain't know what I really want to put out, what I, how I want to do it, what I want to do. And I had all these old songs, like just SoundCloud music. You know, like all the SoundCloud songs, like, well, before I, before I put out 
all my new content and everything that's like super fi, I want to get out all this stuff on Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, you know, so everybody can hear it and listen to it with a couple new songs. So we did like that. We put it out. The first one was some like, mostly like the first, second, third one was like, already released songs like one or two release. And number four, I put like, what, two or three new ones? Put like three new songs on the volume five, like six. So yeah, that's how it came about. Just putting out old music, getting it out there. But I'm, I'm gonna repackage it so everybody like, it's five of them right now, but I'm gonna repackage them just young bands. It's gonna be just the young bands, all right? They're gonna have every song on it. Cause I didn't wanna drop it like 30 songs. One, like, you know, one project, and they're like, bro, like, we don't, I don't even know what's going on. We put it like five on each. So like, listen to them, pick the ones they like each time, you know, gradually. I'm gonna repackage it into one thing next. I realized that um, after like I first got out of jail, and like I got back on Twitter, and I was like, bro, like, all these kids is getting blown up off of going viral. Like before I got locked up, it wasn't no smoke perp, it wasn't no Lil Pump, none of them. It was like all the people who I already was rapping with, I had songs with and stuff like that. And they already owned like Yachty, Cardi, Uno, all them niggas, you know what I'm saying? And then I got out and I look at my DM, and I'm look, I'm realizing who's popping right now. It was like smoke perp coming up, um, pump was coming up, you know what I'm saying? That was probably around like a little bit lower than even the level I'm at now. But to me, that was like big. Like, oh, they, they, getting, they going up. And I'm seeing the stuff they doing. I'm like, okay. So really, it's about social media. You know, I'm looking, I'm like, they in my DM. Like, they already DM me before I even knew who they was. So I'm like, oh shit. Like, okay. But they going up off of this. And I made a plan. Like, okay, well, this is how I'm going to do it. I ain't going to do what they do because that's not my personality. I just picked out a way for the kids to be able to know who I am. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just see me on the on internet. Because music, it don't matter if you can't put no face to it. You know? So I had song, I had one song with a million views on it. People heard the song, but they didn't know who I was, like, from face. So I had to, like, you know, to build that social media presence, I guess. It's gonna be um, Death the Kid. I, that's what I'm working on right now. It's like based out of this anime I fuck with called Soul Eater. And that's my favorite character off of it. One thing that make rappers big is like an aesthetic. It's like all these rappers got music. It's a lot of rappers like who are more talented than all these rappers who getting big right now, but you gotta have a, a steady aesthetic, like to why people it's like a niche, you know, like to why people come and they listen to your music, why people look at you and what they listen to you for. So, I just found it, you know? It just came when it was time to come. After all the volumes came out, one day I just seen it. Like I got, I got him tatted right here, Death the Kid. He tatted on my arm, but it just came one day. It was even after I got the tattoo, and I thought about it, I was like, yeah, this it. In 10 years, I'm gonna have like, Um, in 10 years, like, in one year, I'll probably have all the stuff I want. But in 10 years, I'll probably have like a rocket ship or something. No, no, I'll probably have a, like a little house on another planet or something like that. Uh, I don't know, some crazy shit. I'll probably have every car I want. A couple big ass mansions. One, I want, I want a house in Atlanta. My first house is going to be in Atlanta. Um, probably get my family a house, like a little mansion somewhere where they want it. You know, I'm like, mama pick where she want to get it at. And then I'm deciding should I get a spot in LA or New York or Miami. It's gonna be one of them three. Whichever one more convenient, whatever for me. I don't know why I like the best. Cause like moving other places, it's just weird cause you don't know, you don't know about it. You know, it's so like moving to LA, I don't know they like how they politic in LA, like what goes on in LA, like with all that shit. As a nigga trying to extort niggas, I'm not with that, so I don't want to even move there. If, if it's gonna be too much going on, Miami cool, but you see how what just happened to X, so it's like damn, move out there. Fuck shit, New York. It's cool, but it just get cold out there. I don't like when it's cold out there. But I don't like the cold. I mean, I like the cold, 
it's a cool thought, like cold, because I like jackets. I, don't, I never leave the house without a jacket. Like, even if it's hot as fuck outside, I'm going to have a jacket on. But like, when it's cold outside, I wear coats, hoodies under, I like wearing like, five shit, so.